next guest on Top Chef and Iron Chef. And today, she is the undisputed winner of Italian Chef here on Home and Family with her amazing <laughs> Roman-style eggplant parmesan. Please welcome back to our home, Sarah Gruenberg. Welcome oh, back, Sarah. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. It smells so good in here. So, of oh, course, so joining Deb at the counter, Ken and Larissa. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It smells lovely. Oh, Do you love you eggplant guys? farms? Yes. Uh, yes. yes. Yeah. How many bad eggplant farms have you ever had? A lot. M many. Yeah. And I'm like intimidated a little bit by eggplant because I feel like every time I make Tough. it or I try to work with it, it's like, I don't know, oily or something. But you have a secret, a foolproof way to make it. I have a secret. It's not my creation, but I was yeah. taught this by one of a Roman chef when I went there oh, to train wow. in Italy and they salt the eggplant overnight. Mm. Okay. Overnight. So, is that what this is right here? Yeah. So you want to slice. I like to do thick slices because I like the meaty texture that yeah. eggplant gets yeah. when it cooks. So you just want to sprinkle some salt, about two tablespoons over okay. it. Put it in your fridge overnight and look at all this look water that. that comes oh, out of yeah. the eggplant. Oh. And this is the kind of bitterness and, and flavor that people don't, and they say they don't like eggplant. I think it's because it wasn't purged. Sure. And this is a key to any type of eggplant. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to learn about this <laughs> yeah. because- And it's easy. It does the work for you in the fridge overnight. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, I love it. So purging, that's the purging yes. process. Yes. So after that, we then have to bread it, correct? Yes, so this is some purged slices here. And you can see the texture of it has changed. It's not so spongy. Right. And I think raw eggplant has kind of like a spongy. Oh, yeah. it mm -hmm. So breading, you want to have one hand dry, one hand wet. Okay. Okay, so if you go in and you you decide, you know, you want to decide which hand is going to be your flour. Because if not, <laughs> you'll end up with like breadcrumb fingers. <laughs> All over and, everything. And that's not good. So it goes into flour first. So flour. And I like to really kind of... Get it in the flour because I want the, the moisture that's in the eggplant to absorb that first layer of flour. All right. And then ice water. Yeah. Different ice hand. Water. Yeah, so why ice? So, you know, again, I was taught this in Italy and I just think it's the best way. But what I think it is, is if you use egg, it creates more of a cakey batter. Sure. And so the ice water is like a really light batter and it just is adhering that little bit of flour to it. And that's why when you eat it you uh, made properly and made the Italian way, it doesn't feel so heavy. It doesn't Where feel a lot so of, heavy. A lot of that eggplant parmesan that you said that you've yes. had that wasn't so great, right. that's right. why. It makes you feel it's thick so, after. Yes. Mm. And then this is a little secret. I think I do, I do half bread breadcrumb, half flour. Oh, because if it was 100% breadcrumb, then I think you're going to have a really hard breading. Uh -huh. But the little bit of flour in there oh, sorry, allows it. Does that mean one is flour and one is, or that one is split? So this is equal parts all-purpose flour and like fine okay. Italian breadcrumbs. Oh. So you could bread all your slices. Okay. Let's stick them here. So, it's so feel that. This right before though, correct? Because I do this like a few hours before the next I one. like it right before. I think if you wanted to get ahead on this dish, you could do this step and fry it and assemble and then bake it the next day. Mm -hmm. But to fry, yeah. you want to go ahead, thank you. <laughs> but we don't have those fingers, which is yeah, good. Yeah, this is actually, my <laughs> We're kind of pretty clean, clean which I'm surprised. <laughs> so you want to heat your pot up uh, to, with oil about 350 degrees, okay. and you want a thermometer, but the best thing, if you don't have a thermometer, right. just do a little test. If it doesn't boil or bubble, then your oil is not hot enough. You want to oh. hear it. You want to see the the I actual bubbling I happen. Kind of, what kind of oil is it? <laughs> so this is just a neutral frying oil, like a canola oil or a vegetable oil. Olive oil would burn. You don't want to fry in right. olive oil. Okay. You could put a little olive oil in there for flavor, but I, I don't know if it really does. But you could do sunflower much. oil. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Or grape seed. <laughs> Anything that which is healthier than canola. Okay. Yeah. Wait, yeah. These are pretty thick slices. So how long are we frying this for? So, you got to fry them for like eight to ten minutes. Oh. You want to wait until it gets a little golden. Like, see these here? That's this beautiful. color? Yeah. So you want this golden texture. You want a little crispness. I flip them about four minutes. Four minutes through. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's, that's probably cool. also why that purging is so important, because it's sitting in the oil for a minute. You need yeah. that protection. Yes, and what I love about the ice water flour is it creates, like you can see, it created this little micro layer of breading. Yeah. Absolutely. To protect it. And while oh. you're going to make the tomato sauce, and I know you have a very special way to make your tomato sauce, don't you? I do. Well, you could use your favorite store-bought tomato yeah. sauce, but so when I was working on preparing a recipe for the restaurant, I was cooking at home, and I had tomato sauce everywhere. It was all <laughs> over me, and it was all over the stove. So I created a technique of doing it in the oven. So you just want to put all of your tomatoes, your olive oil, and put that in the oven and roast it. And then it's done for about two hours in the oh, oven. Wow. Is, is there a special That's way to cool. do this? I kind of just started You're layering great. it. You're great. This okay? is great. Yeah. Okay, so good. Wanna, <laughs> put some tomato sauce nervous, down. Nervous. No, it's great. Do you do it and low and slow in the oven? 
low and slow. Yeah, and then the top caramelizes, then you want to stir like about three or four times. It makes me want to make that. Do you have to put it in a blender afterwards or no? No, no. I've never. You could rice it or, yeah. So Parmesan, it's got to be Parmigiano if you're going to have eggplant Parmesan. <laughs> so is there, it's funny, I would have gone with the tomato sauce first to layer, but you're going with the Parmesan first. Is there so, a correct layering order? Well, I think that the, the, the Parmesan is the glue. So that's going to, oh. like, when it melts inside those layers. But you could do tomato really sauce for it. I mean, yeah. once you get to this stage, have fun with yeah. it. <laughs> put whatever, <laughs> whatever you want. Put whatever <laughs> cheese you want in there. Um, a little bit more tomato. And I kind of like to just cover bits and pieces of it so that when it bakes, that, like, crust is going to get nice and, and cr crunchy. Not all of it is smothered oh. in the sauce. Okay, that's oh. smart. Because I would have just smeared it all over Me the whole too. thing. <laughs> and yeah. that's good. I mean, it. you know, again, you're not going to mess it up. It'll right. be delicious. But those little things, like the little crunchy, bits I bet that's really fun like oh. you're eating you're like all right this bite yeah, yeah. <laughs> texture is like the best part you know yeah. and then just mozzarella and I like to just kind of put that right on the top all you right. want to throw some on yeah, there I'll get it so this is a whole milk mozzarella whole milk okay so while you're layering that I really want to hear about this very special event that you have coming up oh this my week. goodness I know it's really special to you it is yes yeah. so um, I'm in town uh, to cook for LA loves Alex which is Alex's lemonade oh, stand so it was started by a four-year-old girl who had terminal brain cancer and created and started a lemonade stand in her neighborhood and it was her goal to, oh, to have the money go to <clears throat> to research and to support the families and so a lot of chefs are in town and it's super fun I and know. she was so and it's a great was cause four. and when she wanted to start oh, the lemonade yeah. stand her parents said what do you want to do with the money she said i want to give it to research for cancer so oh. they can find a cure for other little kids like me yes That's so special incredible. special wow. little girl. Oh, girl and to date i think they've raised 150 million dollars yes it gives wow. me chills I like i know. like chills I over too. here <laughs> So eggplant goes in the oven, 350 degrees, 45 minutes, covered, take off the foil, and then cover it a little. Oh, thick. my goodness. Oh, there so you go. I just got ridiculously hungry. Okay. I didn't realize I, I was hungry. Like, I know. <laughs> Oh, I, can't, I can't plate this fast Thank enough. you for making oh. this. Oh, my gosh. Sorry, guys. These plates are going to be great. Oh, I know you guys just want oh, this yeah, in your you. stomach as Welcome. quickly as possible. <laughs> I'm giving you big portions. Big Thank portions. You. <laughs> and if you want to put some basil on top for a little bit of a, you know, garnish. Oh, yes. Sarah. <laughs> This is magic. Yep. Game changer, well, right? Game changer. Ooh. Good. Thank you so much. Throwing the basil. Throwing the basil. And you can find this phenomenal <laughs> recipe yes. at lamarckchannel.com. Yes.